With a simple modification, I can make the Q multiplier a dual purpose device, turn it into a close proximity broadcaster, adding one diode, one capacitor, and a Bluetooth input source. I'll place a link to the author's original design and you can see the modification that I made where I'm coming off of L1 connecting a 1N34A diode and a blocking capacitor the 0.15 and that's attached back to the uh, Bluetooth input and uh, it seems to work really well. I have the uh, potentiometer set for about midpoint and the uh, volume control on my Bluetooth about uh, three-fourths of the way up. Since the Q multiplier is nothing more than a Hartley oscillator, you can see the uh, nice clean sine wave. And uh, let me get over into the uh, math mode and we'll look at the uh, FFT feature and look at the uh, distortions here. But uh, it's pretty clean. Actually, at the lower part of the band, it's probably around 45 to 50 dB down as far as uh, second, third harmonics. And uh, you can see here we're about uh, 40 dB down at uh, just under uh, 1,000 uh, kilohertz. And you can see the modulation profile is uh, pretty clean here. I can modulate up to 100%. Uh, and I really don't see any clipping. Thanks for watching, folks.